Snestrunk. I've always had a soft spot for Tiny Toon Adventures games, probably because there aren't really any bad ones. The NES, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis combined for 10 Tiny Toons titles. Say that 10 times fast. And they're all at least pretty good. It's really kind of an underappreciated franchise when it comes to gaming. So when I found out not too long ago about a Tiny Toons Game Boy Advance game, I was excited and my expectations were high. That is, until I played the game. That's when my expectations were totally met and was able to enjoy a reasonably fun game titled Tiny Toon Adventures Buster's Bad Dream, made in July 2002 by Treasure. I should point out, however, that this game was only released in Europe until March 2005 when it got a US release under the title Scary Dreams. Apparently someone found a bunch of copies of the game that were shelved for one reason or another, and decided to release them under the publisher Conspiracy Entertainment. Also fun fact, this game ended up being the last official Tiny Toon Adventures game, at least before the HBO Max reboot. Anyway, this game is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up. You play as Buster and you get one health meter with unlimited continues to get through four levels in a password system. The premise here is that you're fighting your way out of Buster's bad dreams after Montana Max knocked him out with a spring-loaded boxing glove that was somehow hidden in an issue of Sports Illustrated. So it's just like a regular episode of the cartoon, but instead of being a regular platformer type game like Buster Bust Loose or Buster's Hidden Treasure, this one is a beat-em-up and since it's made by Treasure, the controls here are really satisfying. You get attacked with swarm after swarm of enemies and you have to clear each room and to help you out you have a friend that you pick before each level and each has their own set of special attacks you can use by pressing the R button. You can choose from Babs, Plucky, Hampton, Shirley, Sneezer, Fifi, and Dizzy. Just to give you some examples, for just tapping the R button, Babs will hit an enemy a few times with a tennis ball. Tap the R button twice and the ball will ricochet around. Do a quarter roll forward and press B and she'll do a bigger attack that you can aim. Most characters have at least three moves they can do, but there are a couple that seriously don't do anything, like Hampton, who you can use as a literal meat shield. You can beat up a dude with another dude, you gotta love that. One interesting wrinkle is that these helper characters have their own health meters. They can take enemy damage too, so you still have to pick your spots when to use them, because when they die, they're gone. The basic gameplay here is really solid, like I said it feels really satisfying to beat the crap out of everything that moves, I mean it's treasure, pretty much all their games are awesome. Just like the other characters, Buster has some moves of his own, forward and B will send enemies flying, down and B does an uppercut, quarter roll and B crushes enemies with a shopping cart, and down twice and B will stun enemies. You also have the option of either using up or A as jump, which is kinda interesting. I should also mention that this game's engine was retooled and repurposed for the later Game Boy Advance title Astro Boy Omega Factor, which came out a year later. And I should also mention that that's a much better game, and if you dig this one, then you should check out Astro Boy. It's the same type of beat-em-up combat, but with way more stuff you can do. It's fantastic. But hey, Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster's Bad Dream, or Scary Dreams, or Sweet Dreams are made of these, or whatever you want to call this game, it's not too shabby either. The only thing wrong with that is that there's just not much to do. Usually I talk about stuff like enemy types and level design and all that, but it's all extremely basic stuff, but that's okay. What is here is fun, it's just that it's only fun for like 15 minutes. And that makes sense since this was made for a handheld. This game hasn't been released on any other platform, so this is another one you gotta play any way you can. All right, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.